number eight out of section 5.4 uh, Thomas's calculus and we have the definite integral of oh sorry from uh, 1 to 2 of 1 over x minus e to the negative x dx so um, hmm this is interesting I just noticed something here I guess they gave you that rule oh well I didn't know they had given you the rule for the uh, integral of 1 over x but I guess they did so you can find that up find that out uh, and you'll see what I do so anyway um, uh, the function is not undefined from uh, from 1 to 2 there's, there's no problems there so um, and then this is Cal 1 so you wouldn't be able to do it even if it was um, or at least most people's Cal 1 sequence so anyway we'll just uh, evaluate the uh, integral of 1 over x is the natural log of the absolute value of x and then the integral of e to the negative x is e to the negative x times negative 1 so it'll be plus e to the negative x and we'll evaluate that from 1 to 2 so we'll have the natural log of 2 plus e to the negative 2 minus the natural log of the absolute value of 1 and I'm gonna put parentheses around that uh, plus e to the negative 1 and then uh, so we have the natural log of 2 plus 1 over e squared uh, minus uh, this is just the natural log of 1 is 0 so minus 1 over e and do we even want to do any more than that Yeah, I mean, I, I I just leave it like that. Oh, that ain't good, is it? I don't even know why I'm wasting time to erase that. It really doesn't matter, but just kind of like that. Um, anyway, yeah, this is just as good of answer as me. Uh, I think that most solutions manuals would leave it like that. Natural log, natural log of 2 plus 1 over e squared minus 1 over e. Uh, you could even use it as natural log of 2 plus e to the negative 2 plus uh, minus e to the negative 1. Um, I don't know. That's about as good as it gets.